Hey there, future engineers. Today I'm going to simplify something that's usually pretty daunting, designing a structural beam. Yeah, I know it sounds intense, but stick with me and you'll get it. First things first, why do we even need beams? Beams are like the backbone of any structure. They carry loads, resist forces, and make sure everything stays upright and safe. All right, let's dive in. Step one is understanding the loads. Loads are the forces that act on a beam. They can be dead loads, like the weight of the structure itself, or live loads, like people and furniture. You have to calculate these loads accurately to ensure your beam can handle them. Next up, the material. Different materials have different strengths and weaknesses. Steel, super strong but expensive. Wood, cheaper but not as strong. Concrete, great for compression but not so much for tension. Choose your material based on your project's needs and budget. Now let's talk about the span. The span is the distance between the supports of the beam. The longer the span, the stronger your beam needs to be. Simple, right? Okay, here's where it gets real. You need to calculate the bending moment. The bending moment is the internal force that causes the beam to bend. You can calculate it using the formula M equals sign F asterisk L, where M is the bending moment, F is the force, and L is the length of the beam. Once you have the bending moment, you can determine the beam's section modulus. The section modulus is a geometric property that gives you an idea of how strong your beam is. The formula is S equals sign M sigma, where S is the section modulus, M is the bending moment, and sigma is the material's yield strength. Finally, check for deflection. Deflection is how much the beam bends under load. Too much deflection can cause problems, so you need to make sure it's within acceptable limits. You can calculate deflection using various formulas depending on the type of load and beam configuration you're dealing with. And there you have it. From understanding loads to calculating bending moments and deflection, you've got the basics of structural beam design down. Remember, practice makes perfect. So, keep working on those calculations and you'll be a beam design pro in no time. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more engineering tips and tricks. See you next time.